Not too long ago, the game engine Unity dug their own grave and then buried themselves in it by introducing something called runtime fees. And to sum it up, these runtime fees were just basically going to be Unity sticking their hands into game developers' pockets and yanking out all their money, holding them upside down and shaking out all their coins. And then on top of that, they were also pulling the rug out from under them, pantsing them if you will, and just taking advantage of their trust, leaving them completely shocked as to how terrible this new update was going to be. And as you can see right here from this little collage, this is just not even every single game studio and game developer, but a bunch of different developers and studios putting out statements against Unity's new runtime fee update. And as a result of this terrible, terrible update, many developers and studios jump ship to a better ship, to a better game engine, because Unity isn't the best game engine, and obviously if they're taking advantage of everybody like this, it's a no-brainer to go hop over to another game engine and start developing your games there. So Unity lost a lot of business. So much so, to where they actually listened to the community. You know it's bad when a company makes a terrible change, and everyone starts hating on them so much to the point where they actually have to apologize for it. <laughs> they said, we have heard you, we apologize for the confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community, customers, and partners, and we'll be making changes to the policy. We will share an update in a couple days. Thank you for your honest and critical feedback. You know a company has messed up severely whenever they're apologizing, but also saying they're going to make changes to the terrible thing they've done. Typically, if a company messes up just a little bit, they'll put out an apology, but still keep the terrible change. But in this case, they're actually having to revert it because it was that bad of a change. And that was back on the 17th, and now today is the 23rd, but yesterday, last night, they actually put out an open letter to the community addressing the situation and saying all the changes they're going to make. I'm not going to read the whole open letter to you. You can go read it on their website if you want. I'm just going to read you the highlights of it, give you the spark note summary. Uh, he starts off by saying he is Mark Witten and that he wanted to start with this. I am sorry. And that's a very good start to this open letter because when you own a company and then decide to make a terrible change just to be greedy, a sorry is definitely in order. And then they have this whole uh, copy and paste corporate template about we should have spoken to you more, you are what makes Unity great, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. The real stuff, the real meat and potatoes we gotta get to here is they say our Unity personal plan will remain free and there will be no runtime fee for games built on Unity personal. And that's a huge change. Because if you go to this right here, their initial update, it was going to charge 20 cents per install for the Unity Personal and Unity Plus plans. And they were going to be charged more than the Unity Pro and Enterprise because they had a Mr. Krabs scheme set up to where if you give them more money, you have to pay less money on the fees. But now, this whole first pillar, this whole first layer here is completely gone. There's going to be no fees for personal whatsoever, and it's going to remain free. And they're also going to increase the cap from 100,000 to 200,000, and will remove the requirement to use the Made with Unity splash screen. Those are all good changes. Very good start to this apology. And then he says, no game with less than $1 million in trailing 12 month revenue will be subject to the fee. That's another good thing. Gotta give him a tiny little golf clap, at least so far. De decent changes, pretty good changes so far. And then he says, for those creators on Unity Pro and Unity Enterprise, we are also making changes based on your feedback. The runtime fee policy will only apply beginning with the next LTS version of Unity, shipping in 2024 and beyond. Your games that are currently shipped and projects you are currently working on will not be included unless you choose to upgrade them to the newest version of Unity. So that's a solid change right there. Your older games aren't going to be subject to this fee, and if they keep getting downloads, you won't have to pay because of those downloads. Solid changes so far. They're listening, actually listening to the community. And I want to make this abundantly clear. I'm not on Unity's side. I still am against Unity. The only reason they're making these changes is to save their company from sinking like the Titanic because so many members of their community left due to this terrible change they made and just them taking advantage of their trust and the community they had built up. The only reason they're reverting these changes is because game developers and community members banded together to form this like legion of doom 
to attack Unity. Because if Unity didn't start bleeding from this, if they didn't start hemorrhaging money due to the amount of people, game developers and whatnot, that were not supporting Unity anymore, these changes would have never happened. But they also made changes to the runtime fees themselves. They say that we're, they're giving the creator a choice of a 2.5% revenue share or calculated amount based on the, new number, on the number of new people engaging with your game each month. Both of these numbers are self-reported data you already have available, and you will always be billed the lesser amount. And I uh, found a neat little thing while I was looking through their website. They actually have a estimator that you can use to see how much a runtime fee would be on your game if you have, like, if you're a game developer. So on Unity Personal, of course, there's no charges regardless of what you do because it's completely free now. Unity Pro, though, if you had to upgrade to that because your game's a bit bigger, you're a bit of a bigger game. You can do my game exceeds 1 million in 12 months. You can say yes. My game has over 1 million initial engagements. Yes. My game is created on 2023 LTS release or later. If it is not, then you don't get charged anything. But if it is, then you have to do your estimated monthly revenue, which you can say is like 260,000 and initial engagements 140,000. And it would tell you your estimated runtime fee and the percentage of revenue and average cost of engagement would be 0.046. So it seems they're going to keep the runtime fee, but it's going to be in a very different, unrecognizable form. They've pretty much changed everything about it. If they would have put it out like this initially, there wouldn't have been near as much lashback, but I guess they were trying to see what they could get away with, see how far they could push... Almost threw up. See how far they could push the line. And then once they realized they far overstepped that line in the sand and everyone started attacking them viciously and they started losing everything they had built up, they had to quickly backpedal, go back across that line and then build up a little wall and say, hey, sorry, we're sorry, we're, we're rebuilding. We're restructuring everything. We didn't mean it. We're sorry, please come back. But I, I have to say the damage is definitely already done. The people who have already left and fled for greener pastures are going to stay on other game engines because even if they do, they did this change, they reverted stuff and they made it better, they already showed you that they're willing to make a change just on a dime like that, a terrible change and take advantage of your trust. How can you use, continue to use a game engine who is willing to, to just try to exploit you like this at the drop of a hat because they've shown they're not trustworthy. But I will say this is a step in the right direction. And then they finish it off by saying we want to continue to build the best engine for creators. We truly love this industry and you're the reason why. <laughs> and then he says thank you for caring as deeply as you do and thank you for giving us hard feedback. Mark Witten. It wasn't just hard feedback, it was very much deserved criticism. So I will say, while this apology was good, they actually did make some changes and didn't just say, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. They actually did something. They actually reverted all the bad parts and made it way better. But still, like I said, the trust has already been broken. The bond that you've built up has already been busted. And no one is going to be able to trust you anymore. While you may have, like, done some damage control and minimalized the damage to your company, you're still way past the point of no return and uh, the damage is done, pretty much. This is pretty much their attempt to gather up all the spilled milk on the floor and try to put as much of it as they can back into the gallon. It's a step in the right direction. But you already made so many steps, so many, not even just so many steps, one giant leap in the wrong direction that it's going to be hard to backpedal to start going in the right direction. It's like a gushing wound, you know, it's going to take a lot of time for it to stop bleeding and then a whole lot of time for it to heal and then scar over. And it's still going to leave a scar, it's going to leave a mark that's there permanently, but eventually, maybe in the far, far future, things can go back to somewhat normalcy and you can regain most of what you've lost. But I don't really see that happening anytime soon. People realize that Unity's not the best engine out there, that there are better engines for them. Like that whole saying, there's a million fish in the sea when someone gets dumped. They're like, oh, she's not the best one. There's a million fish in the sea. It's pretty much what happened with Unity. They realized that Unity was that toxic ex that never really cared for them and always treated them horribly. And there's other game engines that will treat them far better and are more welcoming to them. And now they're experiencing that and being like, 
Why was I ever with Unity in the first place? And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.